Hey what's up guys, back in today I've another another reaction on the channel and today I'll be reacting to the first episode of Do Ra Ra Ra. I've been very excited to watch this, I've uh, actually been wanting to watch this ever since I kind of started anime as so it had a really cool uh, kind of cover image of it and I've heard a few of the songs, you guys know I reacted to the openings uh, which I'll leave an eye button up both of you guys wanted to watch that um, and all the songs now were damn amazing i listened to quite a few of them in my free time as well so it'd be really awesome to see the visuals again uh, as it has been quite a fair few months since i've done that opening reaction but uh, very excited for the first episode uh, let me know what you guys think of this one down in the comment section leave a like on the video if you guys do like this video and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date with my do rah 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 um, reaction sorry i'll be reacting to it every tuesday and thursday so quite frequently but let's hop right into the episode guys okay let's go guys oh we're starting off with the opening as I said, I listened to this, uh, I think this opening 1, 2, and 5 quite a bit in my own time, the full songs. Blow out loud. But yeah, there seems to be a real focus on the characters in the show from what I got from the openings before. And they all got their own little intros. It was just throwing a fucking <laughs> whatever that is. <laughs> da, 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 da. But yeah, very much hoping for some really awesome characters during this series again. As I said, it looks like there's quite a big focus on them. But I've got really no idea what this is about, other than this uh, kind of not masked, but this motorbike rider with this helmet on is going to be a big part, I guess. And there that person is. Big old scythe. Interesting. This guy's talking in absolute mysteries right now. <laughs> this is our main character. Opening. A lot of grayed out people. Ah, so this is his first time away. Ryugami Mikado. Ah, so he's got a new school. So he's a transfer student. Or is he just starting a new year? This is his friend. Aren't they the same pair? <laughs> Three years for that. <laughs> His best friend, Ida Masaomi. At least he's got some friends here.
they stayed in contact for those years. And trans sixty. Isn't that an anime? I've heard of that uh, being an anime, I'm pretty sure. It was airing a couple months ago. Wow, 6 pm. <laughs> Yeah, he's a little bit, um, not sure what the best word for it is, hesitant, I guess. Ikebukoro. Ike Bukolo. Okay. That's pretty handy, isn't it? Ah. So got a bit of a gang problem, or had anyway. I do wonder what type of show this will be. Again, I've got absolutely no idea what I'm in for. Wow. <laughs> Oh wow, there's people behind it? We did see these guys in the opening. This guy's already friends with these people. There's no way I'm remembering all these names. <laughs> What's wrong with that name? Is it too cool or something? <laughs> I wonder what it means. Well, he's got to be a protagonist, isn't he? That need some interesting characters. Yeah, they don't seem too bad at all, do they? Yeah, this guy seems a bit withheld, while this guy seems pretty much completely the opposite. <laughs> No vulgar.
Hmm. What the hell? Plan on sell her or something? He doesn't wake up. So they want her to. So they're gonna put her to sleep and kidnap her and wake her up for something. Yeah, say that again. Hmm. League aliens. Immigrants, maybe? <laughs> but it seems that these people are behind the disappearances, maybe. Probably. So what does she think she's getting into here? Yep. And she's kidnapped. Oh, they left a fag butt behind. Oh, we've seen this guy in the open, haven't we? Interesting. These guys are just kidnapping loads of people. I wonder what they're doing with them. Five, four hundredths. <laughs> black guy. One of the only black guys I've ever seen in anime. Simon. Probably the first time this guy's seen a black guy, I imagine. In real life. I think a lot of people in uh, small parts of Japan never see any foreigners or anything, I don't think. Sembion. Yeah. Well, now nah, he was massive. Is this the guy that was throwing stuff in the opening? <laughs> the blonde guy. Oh, <laughs> 
<laughs> that person. Aijima Shizu. Shizuo. <laughs> I'm guessing that's the blog guy we saw in the opening. <laughs> chucking stuff around. Looks like he enjoys chucking stuff around like that. Wonder if he's a good or a bad guy there. Yeah. You're doing this type of crap. What would you be thinking? Oh. Only that one person though, right? Oh, so that bike has no headlights. Drives in the pure darkness. Monster. Hmm. Oh, here it is. Doesn't have any headlights. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Just put that bike around his face. Ow! That was quick. They didn't take no prisoners, man. Oh crap! They got a taser. It's a menace. Luckily, they don't have a gun. <laughs> Up quick time. This seems like almost like an anti hero. Um like a Batman type uh character. What is that? Shadow? What the hell? Holy crap. That is pretty monstrous. Grim Reaper. I reckon this might be the same guy we saw earlier with the black hair. Oh no, it's a woman, isn't it? It's got boobs. I'm not sure. <laughs> They're referring to it as him. I'm pretty sure I see some boobs there. Taking some damn punishment. Wait, what the hell? Holy shit. Just what? So this isn't even a person, is it? What the hell? What is going on here? Oh, holy shit, well, there's the Reaper Scythe. What is this thing? <laughs> Thank God that didn't kill him. <laughs> Could say, was that about to slice him in half? What in the world is going on? <laughs> I was expecting this rider to be an actual like person, but it explains why 
getting ran over and being stunned like that had not really much effect on it. Orihara Isaya. The dollars. Quite a lot to watch out for here in this town, isn't there? <laughs> This uh this girl isn't greyed out. Big old scar. Right where her head is. That's pretty suspicious. Considering the thing we just saw didn't have a head. <laughs> yeah. What's that noise? Oh, it's it's the biker. Oh, it is. moved A whole new place, and this place is pretty damn crazy, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it looks like these guys have inadvertently met whoever he's talking to online. Dotachin. I've got no idea. <laughs> but here's the ending. Haven't heard any of the endings, actually, have I? Ooh. I think I really like this song. So she'll be another important character who we again saw in the opening with them, didn't we? Met that guy. Black dude. But this guy is also quite suspicious, isn't he? He was at the scene of uh, the crime. And I'm pretty sure that's the guy that froze shit. <laughs> Met those two today. Was that the end of Hopefully we get an end scene or something. That felt real quick. Of course, it's the first episode of me and everyone, so it's bound to. A very intriguing start. It seems, and it did seem quite grounded and such, all until we uh, the biker took the helmet off, or well, they got hit, sorry, I should say, and we saw the inside, and that was quite uh, supernatural. But again, it has this kind of grounded feel to it, so it's an interesting element. And I think this is that shadow, yeah, like all around this ending bit here. Mysterious indeed.
This story is a work of fiction. I'll watch this in a second, guys. I, I, the, you can forget about the timer. I'm just going to read what it says here real quick. There is a work of fiction. It's not based on any actual events, group, or people. See, when it says something like that, you know it's pretty like damn grounded, if you know what I'm saying, where it, it seems so realistic that it, it almost seems like it's based on real-life events. Um, but yeah, so it's weird that they've got that kind of mystery element. So this is... That's the new girl. Reality where it seems anyone can run into someone else, yet no one does. Ah, the truth... Between truth and lies. Interesting. That was a very intriguing first episode. I can't lie, I just kind of want to watch another episode right off the bat and get a bit more context. But uh, I guess I'll wait till uh, next week on Tuesday, unfortunately. But really awesome first episode. Again, bringing this kind of mystery aspect to, um, again, quite a grounded storyline of this guy moving to a new city and all these interesting characters being brought up and meeting a few interesting people. Um, and having this really outgoing friend where he's quite an introverted guy, it seems, who's been living in the countryside. So, um, again, quite a relatable character. But um, it should be really awesome him meeting meeting these people uh, even more properly and getting to form bonds with them uh, in the future should be really awesome to see and definitely investigating this uh, kind of smoke figure black driver thing um, that's a really intriguing aspect to it again everything's quite grounded apart from this kind of major black driver who this urban legend that's going to be a big part of the anime i'm pretty sure but again let me know what you guys thought about this first episode down in the comments it was really awesome uh, again the music in the show is really really great especially the osts they're playing throughout the series and uh, the opening the ending combo is really great as well um also leave a like on the video if you guys did like this video uh subscribe to the channel if you do again want to keep up to date with my do ra ra react do ra 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 reactions uh again i'll be reacting to it every tuesday and thursday so look forward to uh, tuesday and have a good rest of your day guys